Very interesting indeed. This panel proposes acquiring unlimited items from a supermarket and getting paid on top of it, because the sum of all natural numbers is equal to minus one twelfth. Well, if that is the case, one just might be equal to two. Wait a second. One is equal to one, which is also equal to one plus zero plus zero and so on. Zero itself is only one minus one. So we could make this into an infinite series of ones minus ones, which at the end should sum up to one nonetheless. But, for an instance, if we were to rearrange the parentheses, isolate the first digit at the beginning, and then reduce the rest because they add up to zero, we end up with one equals two, which can't be right. In a similar fashion and by doing some totally unnecessary arrangements, one plus two plus three plus four and so on would be equal to minus one one twelfth, which of course is arithmetically impossible. Mathematicians blame it on physicists and vice versa. But in reality, this equation was popularized by the brilliant Indian mathematician Srinivatsa Ramanujan, someone who certainly knew that putting infinite eggs in a basket won't leave you with a negative egg. So, what's going on here? The thing is, it's impossible to sum up infinite series, so instead mathematicians came up with some special methods. This way they can assign a meaningful value to divergent series. These methods aren't about arithmetic, they're about finding a meaningful value to work with, something besides infinity. Some are going to say well you shouldn't have messed with something so simple like 1 equals 1, because there is nothing to solve and you would be correct. Mathematically, this isn't a sum in the traditional sense, but a way of assigning a value using advanced complex analysis methods. And surprisingly, such series can actually give useful results in string theory. So yeah, 